All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. So at the end of the day, worked on um, supporting and mounting this box for the low voltage. Everything was already done, but I went ahead and dropped like 15 feet of 3 8 all thread and then added a piece of strut and, mount and tied the box to that and then zip tied the seal tight to the all thread. Um, so that I mounted that through a piece of um, a strut at the top with the 3 8 all thread um, with some nuts and washers. Um, and then for the rest of the day, just worked on mounting these lights. Um, if you didn't see in the last picture, it's these four lights. Um, the three lights were already hanging, um, the first, second, and fourth light, um, but I went ahead and dropped them below this uh, com air compressor line. Um, so that took some time having to, once again, maneuver the lift inside of the, um, not quite in the grid like last time, um, but just getting around all the tires and stuff while people were working. And then I did add the third light in the middle from scratch, tied that into the fourth box or the light box on the right side. Um, so that took pretty much my whole day. Um, and then once I got it up in the air, um, they realized that the, well, we realized that the cord was too short. The, um, I forget what that wire is called, but the flexible wire, um, for the lights, um, it's too short, so he's ordering a longer piece so they can all match, and they, that third light can be below the airline compressor, the compressor airline as well, so that they will all match. Um, so yeah, that's what I worked on today. Um, just in the lift all day, so not the funnest, but um, wasn't bad. Just kind of warm up there and muggy. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. As always, if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. It would help out the channel. I'd love to see you guys back in the next video. And uh, I appreciate the support. Um, likewise, check the description down below for anything else like social media. It's my second YouTube channel, which I just posted a video on there. I'm going over my wireless charger. And then um, video playlist in the description as well. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload or do live streams. And I was going to say... Um, I mentioned in the video that that light took me like all day, but I meant all the stuff in the video took me all day, not just that one light. So just a lot of going up and down on the scissor lift, going up to the ceiling, going down, moving the light around the um, air compressor lines, going back up, plugging it in, zip tying, going down, zip tying back up to the top. And so just repeating that like four times. And I did move. There was another really short light at the top of the ceiling, which had like a one and a half foot whip on it. You might be able to see it in like the second picture at the top um, when it scrolls up. Um, there's like a little, um, another light up there. I just moved that over like five inches because it was in the way for the third light that I added for hanging it down to match up with the other lights to keep them in a row. So I did move that one back like five inches. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna have to take that third light down again, rewire it and then uh, rehang it and re-zip tie it and all that good stuff tomorrow. And then probably just going to be a lot of supporting the low voltage stuff. So a lot of probably um, all thread coming down off. Each one might be different, but um, for now, the plan is just to go all thread off of the strut that's already up there. Zip tie the um, tubes or the uh, seal tight to the all thread and then add a piece of strut and then a bolt through the back strut nut to the box that's already there for the um, low voltage boxes for the cat 5 internet or whatever so anyways that's uh, what i did today and what i'll be doing tomorrow um, i will be at this job set for the rest of the week i'm not sure how or what i will be doing for the rest of the week but granted that now that we have to like support all these boxes i might be doing that for a few days there's just a ton of stuff in the way a lot of tires and a lot of pallets and stuff so it'll be interesting to see um, how that all works out but as always I will keep you guys informed and posted on the journey so thanks for tuning in god bless have an awesome rest of your day peace out and I did just impulse buy this at Home Depot um, basically because I wanted to take apart my Xbox and it didn't have a Torx bit that was super duper small and this has a whole bunch of them so 
Um, not sure, they're sure that I would actually need them this small, but um, yeah, basically this would just be for around the house, like for like, not that I have a glasses or anything, but these have all the tips that you would need to like um, take the screws out of a, uh, your glasses or whatnot. So just lots of teeny, teeny bits. Um, there's, I don't even know how many are in here, probably at least maybe 39. I don't know. There's a whole bunch of them. You can count them. But anyways, I might do an unboxing of this, maybe go over this. So if that's something you want to see, um, let me know, or I can post it on my second channel if you don't care that much. Um, but there's a whole bunch of stuff. It looks pretty cool. And it was like maybe 25 bucks, I think. So I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I was going to take it back if I didn't need it, but I'll probably just keep it because um, it looks like something very useful that might come in handy one day. So anyways, that'll do it, guys. Peace out.